The National Gas Company Limited was born of the need for the country of Belize, almost 40 years after independence, to have a marine gas terminal of its own, thereby securing supplies of critical cooking gas for a growing population. Prior to the country of Belize having its own marine gas terminal, supplies of LPG would come overland in Bowser's. In the beginning, through both Mexico and Guatemala, and eventually exclusively through the country of Guatemala. As Belize's population grew, the time came for a modern marine gas terminal that ensured safety, security of supply given the ravages of climate change, and had the requisite infrastructure for industry-accepted quality assurance now demanded by the people of Belize. In 2020, the National Gas Company Limited became a reality. The National Gas Company Limited is a $60 million public-private partnership where Belize's private sector would design, finance, construct and manage a state-of-the-art national marine terminal facility and two complementary storage depots away from the coast. After 15 years, the National Gas Company would be fully turned over to the country and people of Belize at no cost to the taxpayer. But what is the National Gas Company really? And how does it acquire transparently priced supplies of liquefied petroleum gas for the people of this country? You see, it's all about much more accountability and a demanding public that no longer will put up with the lack of quality in the market. First of all, there was a new law written to regulate the National Gas Company. With this modernized act, NGC became more heavily regulated than any other LPG importation regime in Belize's history. The process starts with open and transparent tendering, where LPG companies, Belizean or foreign, can compete to supply the country of Belize with liquefied petroleum gas. Once the supply agreement has been concluded and delivery details agreed, marine gas carriers arrive to offload well over a million gallons of LPG on a single stop. Prior to offloading the ship, LPG is quality checked by an independent fuel auditing third party to ensure that the quality being received is acceptable for use in the country of Belize. And then, under the watchful eye of a high-tech NGC control room, offloaded into 19 bullet tanks with capacity for 90,000 gallons each. With the modern storage infrastructure installed by the National Gas Company, Belize has more than 1.6 million gallons of LPG storage available. This volume provides the country more than the monthly national consumption, thereby providing a crucial buffer in this era of climate change and supply disruptions. But what sets NGC apart is the deployment of standards and technology never yet seen in Belize's LPG industry before. This state-of-the-art technology, ultimately to be owned by the people of this country, has no equal in the jewel. From a centralized control room, personnel can remotely and safely control ship offloading processes, monitor the amount of LPG in storage, and as required to achieve a high-quality product now demanded by Belizean people, control the precise blending process to achieve a 70% propane to 30% butane blend. The multi-million dollar facility is equipped with requisite technology to not only achieve precise blending, but to inject an odorant to the otherwise odorless gas, thereby making it safe to store and handle for Belizean households. Once odorizing and precise blending have been achieved, Bowsers and bobtail trucks can be loaded for distribution and delivery throughout the country of Belize. At this loading facility, we have a number of safety features built in to the system. Um, one of the main ones is our grounding system uh, that is connected. Once a truck is parked and the required pre-checks have been completed, before any loading starts, they have to go ahead and connect our grounding cable. In the event that grounding cable breaks contact, it flashes red, then the operation uh, stops automatically. All pumps are shut off. Um, and only the control room can reset and restart that transfer. If in the event the operator senses that there's something 
wrong, he could go ahead and hit the emergency stop and it shuts down all operation. We have what is known as a dead man switch, um, which is another safety feature. What that does, it's a four minute timer um, that once a load has, a transfer has started, you have four minutes before that time's out. If that time's out within the four minute period and you do not reset it manually, it shuts down the, the, the operation, it shuts down the transfer. This system also ties into the control room. So whatever the operator does here, the control room can do that automatically from that location as well. This is our Coriolis Micromotion Meter. This is the most accurate meter you would find in the industry at the moment and only National Gas Company has, has this type of meter in country. It measures temperature, it measures density, it measures mass, and it measures gallons. We also have over on this side, what is known as a LEL monitor or a lower explosive limit monitor, which is this one. What this does, it actually registers the amount of explosive gases in the atmosphere and what it does it sends a reading from here up to the control room and from the control room um, it sends an alarm and we could if it goes above 50 percent it shuts the facility down automatically from the state-of-the-art control room at the port of big creek operators can oversee and intervene to remotely shut down any process at the terminal in big creek or the two inland depots in Orange Oak or Belmopan. This high-tech level of operations control has no equal in Belize's LPG industry. The facilities at NGC have been engineered to the highest standards. No other LPG facility in this country has the technology, health and safety considerations, and accurate industry-accepted measurement technology as does NGC. Finally, under the watchful eye of the control room, Bowsers are loaded with LPG to deliver to the two depots inland and to the many bulk storage facilities owned by customers all over the country, where the wholesale price is one single levelized national price. Now that NGC has entered the market, competition exists for the provision of LPG both at the wholesale level for acquisition and importation through a transparent tendering system and downstream by more than 30 retailers throughout the country. But who are the people who invested in this project? And why did they believe in something of such national importance? The National Gas Company Belize Limited project became a reality because Belizeans believed in the project and invested in its development, construction and implementation Equity financing for the project featured investments from local enterprises as well as one foreign investor. The public-private partnership structure of the project facilitated government's ownership of a 25% stake at no cost to the taxpayers. Debt financing for the project featured the successful launch of Belize's first ever project bonds, some $30 million financed by a cross-section of institutional investors. Investments came from credit unions, notably St. Francis Xavier Credit Union and Holy Redeemer Credit Union, insurance companies, pension funds, and commercial banks. In addition, the project managed to successfully secure some $12 million in debt financing from the IDB Invest. The IDB's participation in this debt financing is a testament to their belief in the environmental, social, and governance principles taken on by the developers of this project. This project is a testament to the growth and development of Belize's financial system. It shows confidence of Belizean investors to put their money behind homegrown and developed projects that contribute to our national development. I am proud of this project, and I'm hopeful that there are many more like it to come. So this is NGC, a project by Belizeans for Belize, a Belizean company that ensures that you and your family are receiving the quality of gas that you're paying for.